Today is the most epic of epic videos. We are at the largest house in the urban world. When I say the largest, it is 105,000 square feet. It is called the one. And what gets better than that, we are with the one, the one and only Niall, who is the visionary behind this. He built this and he is just an incredible guy. And he's gonna show thank us you, around you. this house that no cameras have seen this house before in its entirety, ever, ever, ever. Is that correct? That's right. So this you is the a first, world Michael. debut. Let's they do, do it. it. Let's do it. Let me show you. Come on. So we got a, um, it's like a moat that goes stone door that, that opens into itself. Check that out. Electric stone front door. Biometric. We have the latest technology in the house. Whoa. Guys, yeah. I have never been in this house before. This is the first time walking through the door. Adam has never been in this house before. And I don't even know what to say. Well, wait till we're done. Let me, show you, let me show you over here. So we'll come and go this way. This is a, all, a lot of the artwork we have, the sculpture done original for this house. This artwork here is from Michael Phelps. It's called Unity and it was made for the house. It turns 360 degrees. This foyer, because there's so many seating areas in the house, this foyer is a true foyer. It's like an art gallery when you first enter. This foyer is the size of most luxury mansions. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wow. let me show you over here. So we have um, a two-story office with an office balcony. I have to ask you a question. Do you get lost in here? I don't, I mean, it, and, and for me, it, it doesn't even feel big anymore because I've done it so many times, but you know, it's, I know I, it is and big. And also, but one thing you guys need to know, 10 years in the making, right? 10, 10 years, years December 2012 is when I first bought this land and, um, and we've been pushing ever since. And th this office is the only room in the house. The house is surrounded by water. So we have little moats and we have a total of seven water features and swimming pools combined. But this office, you'll see every single wall in this office touches water. So it's like it's floating. This is just incredible. Look at the height of this. I I'm six foot two. How high are these ceilings now? Uh, they're probably 24 feet just in the office, but the higher spaces are higher. And all of the built-ins are from Italy, hand rubbed lacquer, all shipped from different parts of Italy. Spectacular. Have you ever seen an office with a balcony? I have not. I actually yeah. noticed that. I thought, yeah. my goodness, I'm assuming that we'll be able to see into the office. Of course, from up yeah. There, right? yeah. I'm overwhelmed and I've seen the foyer <laughs> and the office. Oh, wait, right? wait, wait. So the next room we're gonna go over to is the formal living room. And the formal living room, I designed it like uh, the Plaza Hotel in New York, where you could have multiple meetings at the same time. Um, where, it, it, but it was very important for me that the house feels comfortable and warm, which that's why I did the use of like really nice, warm suede wallpaper. Whoa, check this out. Is this not the Four Seasons? I or feel the like I'm in the what Four Seasons. <laughs> Oh my word. And the view today is a lot of overcast, but still, you know, the, the thing that is, that is crazy about this house, there's so many crazy, beautiful things. But one of them is I have a backyard with a view of the entire LA basin and the ocean and one acre of usable space, which does not happen anywhere. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. This is wild. Do you have so, a name for that beautiful piece of art? I do. We'll go over. I want to talk to you guys about that because it's something close to me. Um, this is a moat. And the reason that we did a moat here, if you notice, where there is not a moat, you see the glass rail? Yes. So in order to have this free view to the city, we had to put the glass below, which we'll go to. But so below, we have probably the world's most expensive running track because you can't run in Bel Air because there's no sidewalk. So now you can run from here all the way to where the front door is. And it did cost a lot of money, but it also gave us the look of no glass railings, which That's will go down there. Spectacular. So let me show you and talk to you. This is going this. to be a first. I never walk on grass. This is real grass and I'm going to walk on it. Why are you scared of grass? No, I don't want to get dirt into the beautiful oh, white floors. Worry. There you go. How about that? Look, I'm Woo! on the grass, guys. This is a this, this is, is a, a video full of firsts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is Simone Condes in in Murano, Italy, and I was in Murano a long time ago. And if you've been in Murano, Italy, there's a sphere in the middle of the town that's done by this same artist. And this artist was nice enough to make this for us, and 
and because they wanted to be involved in the one, but it's turned into something so much more because my ex-wife, I'm just getting divorced, unfortunately. It was a whirlwind relationship. I met her during COVID and it, it didn't work out but maybe it will still at the end, I don't know. But this is a charity that we have called Wings of Angels, and this is gonna help children in third world countries through the arts, because she is a a well-known actress and singer in Argentina, and she she came from a very tough life in Cordoba, and she wants to be part of the solution of changing the world. And one of the ways we're gonna do this here is through this charity, uh, Wings of Angels, and it's going to build housing and schools for third world country children to learn through acting and through singing. That's remarkable, that's remarkable. And it's spectacular, I mean this is yeah. truly spectacular. I hope and, the camera and at does night, it and justice. At night, at night every one of these Murano crystals light up, every one. So the Murano is famous in Italy for yes. chandeliers, that's blown, the, the blown, same. It's blown glass, it's yes. the finest blown glass there is and this is. Same, same. wow, yep. amazing. An outdoor Murano. Well, I'm back on the grass guys. <laughs> So you can see, like I, I, I picked out every single thing in this house, every paint color, every stone, every tile, all of the furniture. I worked with the furniture company, but you know, I picked like all of this was all my idea, like to keep it warm and supple. It's, it, I am overwhelmed. You've never seen me overwhelmed in a house before. I am overwhelmed. Well, this is, you've seen nothing. I've, this is an elevator, I'm assuming. Elevators, I think there's six elevators. Six and, elevators. You know, I'm, I'm a big developer. I, I have built a lot of houses, no houses like this, but I've learned over time that we really need to start sustaining and trying to do things where we don't just waste. Um, so this is one thing that, that we found. All of my flowers are artificial, but you could never tell. Right, I, I, I thought they were real. Yep. And, and, I, I really and, 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 and it's good real. because it's a bigger cost at first, but then you don't they need to feel real. You don't need to worry about them staining and dropping, and you don't need to worry about sustainability. Spectacular. So the next room we're going to come to is the dining room. We have one of two wine cellars here. This is not completed yet, but this is the, di- the this is the wine cellar for the Jerobombs or bigger. So these are all for the large format wines, and it's all temperature controlled. I've never been in here before. <laughs> but so the, like the big, big, big bottles will go here. And then the, 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 the bigger bottles will be here all the way up. And it's all temperature controlled. Unbelievable. There'll be a, um, a rolling ladder. These are the best lights I've ever seen. Well, ever. and you know, when, I was, when we had these lights delivered, these were on a semi truck and they are so big. But when they come in here, you don't notice. I mean, I'm, they look big, I'm, but you have no idea how big they look when they come. Yeah, it's, they're gigantic. It's crazy. They're absolutely huge. Adam, this is, this is, this is it, unbelievable. T- there's 20 chairs around this table. So we have another, another art piece. All of these were made overseas with, with, with our designs. This one goes all three levels from the top all the way down to the bottom and it's free floating chains. Oh my God. How did you get this in here, Niall? It was very difficult. Well, we had the, we had the circles made and then we had a local artist come and weld the circles and then buff all of the circles so you don't see the... <clears throat> Do you know what else is so spectacular? You look either side of the house, that's got to be, what, 100 yards away from us? And yeah. the views outside the windows in every direction are just yeah. amazing. And, and, and luckily for us, we're exactly framed of the Getty. That is the whole Getty right in front of you. This is another elevator. This is the main elevator. We have two powder rooms here. May we take a peek? Sure. All the powder rooms have total electric toilets in them. Greetings. <laughs> all the doors here are electric, so you push the button, they all open automatically. This is Butler's Pantry. This is really cool. Fantastic. This is really cool. This is the smoking room, the cigar room, and I did special ventilation here. I don't, I don't smoke cigars, but um, <laughs> Look at this, this one. has all vintage Playboys. Wow. Truly astonishing. The entryway is so dramatic. When I pulled up, I thought I was going to I know, Fort Knox or something. <laughs> <laughs> Niall, how does it feel to sit here now, now that it's almost complete? Honestly? Yeah. Can you cuss? Sure, we'll we, can, we can bleep it. <laughs> <laughs> um, exhausting. <laughs> I, I, I can imagine. I mean, like, really, really. 
the most exhausting that you could ever imagine. So I'm going to make you laugh. Tell me. I, I built my house, which is about 7,500 square feet. Right. And I was exhausted at oh, the end of that. That's one room here. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> Let, let's continue, guys. <laughs> that's funny. The only thing that, that is that is really funny. I mean, that's no, and it, and it's not it's not untrue. I'll show you. You have a room that's seventy five hundred square feet. I do the nightclub. The nightclub. Of course, club. Michael. The night club. Why wouldn't there be a nightclub? Well, Just, you know what? What I, about I, that whole area we're, over we're, there? We're, we're, did we miss it? We'll come back to that. There, there, no, there's went, no, down there, there's a, an entire. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a bedroom. Do you want to see? You want to see every single room? Let, let's, yeah. let's yeah. Is, is, it a, is it a big bedroom? Come. Okay. <laughs> might as well, right? I was going to say while we're here, well. hundred and five thousand square feet. But I want to say, it's exhausting. But the only thing keeping me going is I have a girl coming in tomorrow, so that's making me happy. You'll never find her. Not here. Oh, okay. She's, we're, not gonna, we're not moving in here yet. So, what, 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 what would you call this room? This here? is our art gallery. So this has special art lighting that light the art. And these are benches to walk like you would in the gallery. So this is this could be an office. And, and, and guys, he, he just wanted to miss this part. Well, it's then, spectacular. There's so much. I mean, like here's another bedroom. Or since this is off the motor court, this could be another office. Staff what a office. Beautiful bedroom. So this house, being 105,000 square feet, we're going to break it up into probably three episodes. So we'll get a third way through and then we'll, we'll cut, we'll say goodbye to you, we'll join you again and there'll be second and third because otherwise you'll be watching for hours on end. Yep. Lead the way. Okay. This is the family room. This is one of the many, many, many kitchens, but we have a, a, a main kitchen at the lower level. So this like is a restaurant. not the main kitchen? No, this is probably no one will ever use. <laughs> um, but it does have very cool things. Like it has a, a top brewer here, and this is really cool because I don't know if you have like a Miele coffee machine in your coffee house. Coffee machine, right? No, but this is the coffee machine of all coffee machines. So this has an iPad, and it can make every kind of coffee, tea, anything you want. But the cool thing about it is, this is the setup here. So it holds the milk and keeps it cold, so you don't have to fill the milk up like in the Miele's, and then it grinds it fresh. So. This does everything. You don't have to descale. You don't have to do anything. You just touch on your phone, cappuccino, and other than having a cup come up, it does it all. Guess where we saw one of these, Michael? In your other house. <laughs> oh, yeah. In your tiny little 18,000 foot house that was 65 million bucks. Which one was that? Which did you go to? Um, I forget the address. It okay. has blue cabinets in the office. Yeah. Oh, Carcassonne. Carcassonne, yes. yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. This is, this is a, a, a kitchen that no one will ever use. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, you can't not show this stuff. Look, look at this. Uh, and that's the pantry. Oh yeah, this is, this is a pantry that no, one, no one's ever going to use. This is just... Oh, my goodness. Wild. That's all electronics and stuff. That's wild. Wow. I, I can only imagine what the kitchen is going to look like that people will use. So well, I, that one's for more chefs. It's like a restaurant kitchen. Oh, you okay. Know, this, it's not as nice as this. <laughs> is that you trying to stay out of the way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this you will call the family room. Family room, and like all of my houses, there's full indoor outdoor flow. I, I, I'm lost for words. I mean, so this is the outdoor. Look at this. So, this is so we're indoors, but we're outdoors because, of course, all the doors completely disappear. And <laughs> look at this, Adam. This is unbelievable. And look how cool this is. This is the latest technology. So now we're outside, outside, right? Yeah. I'm stood outside. Outside. And this is the latest technology. This is a TV. The speakers are going on the right and left, but there's no frame to it. There's no separation. It's just one screen. So let me stand in front of it so you guys can see how small this screen is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of the five swimming pools? Yeah, there's seven total swimming pool water features total. This is the main pool. It has an infinity on three sides. This is the hot tub. And beyond this, I'll show you what we talked about earlier. This is the running track. Adam, you couldn't even imagine this, right? right. You could not have imagined I mean, it. look at, just look at this. And this is, how much of the house would you say this is, Niall, percentage-wise, that we're looking at? 50, 10? <laughs> <laughs> so look, at, look, come, at, folks. look at the running track. Oh, you weren't kidding. No. 
That's a real running track. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, so and it's you nice because you'll have lights on one side, you'll have the water with the lights on the other side, and you, and you could run all the way to where the front door is and back. So when I came here earlier, I drove past the house. Yes, it goes forever, yeah. It goes forever. So much so, you could fill the tank of a car that uses a lot of gas and run out <laughs> before you get to the end of the house. That's how long it is. I mean, how many people is this hot tub for, now? I'll let you know soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest answer we've ever had on the channel. <laughs> this is the outdoor living room. This is really nuts over here. This is like a Wolfgang Puck barbecue. If you've ever seen a barbecue like this, you let me know. Oh. 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 <laughs> they so, don't have these in hotels. No, this is nowhere. I've never seen a barbecue. Look at this. <laughs> now, normally in my videos, I open things and say, this is a nice, I, I don't even know what three quarters of the things are so, in here. So this is a ice holder, ice holder ice machine, fridge, warming drawer, dishwasher, refrigerator, dishwasher, warming drawer, warming drawer, warming drawer, warming drawer. This is a cooktop with a rotisserie. We got a hot wok over there. That's the grill. Like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the fact that you have an extractor outside. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Not just an extractor, this is industrial. And then there's another staircase going yeah, somewhere. Yeah, so I'll show you guys there. But now you, when you turn the camera, I'll give you a little surprise that you've never seen this in all your life. But by the time we're done with all of this and the story and everything else, this day you will not forget ever right, for right. many reasons. But check that out. That is the, I want to say my, oh my have, the master bedroom swimming pool with walls of glass. Oh my goodness. Am I seeing that right? <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, now we're going to go to something else you've never seen, which is the nightclub. The nightclub has a VIP area. The nightclub has fire seating and water seating. And it also has my own artwork that I created that I only have in one other house that I'll show it to you now. When you say fire, what does that mean? You'll see. Coming to the nightclub right now, and if you look over here, you can see there's a gate from the street. If you want to have people come in from the street to the nightclub, we're going to go through the back way. Okay. okay. So you could you could have people come here without entering the house. Yes, in fact, go straight into the nightclub. Yeah, you know what? We'll go through the front way since we're doing this, but it'll be a little confusing until we get there. But follow me. So this is my artwork, and I have one in a glass case in my I other love house. It's a giraffe, anatomically correct giraffe skeleton. Anatomically correct. It took, mean, it took three size. guys one year to make the mold. Every light that you see is custom because they don't make lights this size. So that's kind of the things you don't even notice. Like the lights are all custom. Don't look this way. Just okay. look this way to the right. And don't look at any of this. Just come straight. Don't Oof. look to the okay. left. Okay, I'll look, I'll don't look down. Don't look to the left. Put your hand oh, over it. Oh, wow. Oh okay. God. I'm walking on water, literally. So this is the entrance from the street right. to the nightclub. So you if you want to have an event only not in your house, you could have valet from the street. They'll come up here and then I'll show you the nightclub. This door is like 12 feet. So you come in here as a coat check here. Oh my gosh. So this is the, this is the fire seating area with two fire pits. This is the nightclub. Look at this. Shall I do the reveal? Okay, here's the reveal. So here's one of the I recognize the color blue. This is in your yeah. other house, the same color. It's here's one of the most technology forward televisions with no, you can see there's no bezel on it. It's just one piece. How is that possible? Because they, they come in little bricks and they, they, they get sucked together with air and you can make it any size you want. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> I mean, this is, this is a, a nightclub. real nightclub. This isn't a nightclub in a house. This is a real This is nightclub. bigger than most nightclubs. And we have not only a dry fire seating area, but a wet fire seating area. So two of these pods have fire pits in them. And we have water that will wash over on all sides and from up above. So when you're here, 
You'll come here. You have the fire on this one and the fire on the far one, and you can hang out here. And everything oh, in this house on. is your creation, your ideas. Well, Paul McLean was the architect, but everything in this house was generally all of my ideas, and I don't want to ever, ever say it was all me because there were hundreds of people who made this possible, but yes, it was me in the very beginning with a pen, with Paul designing this house. And you know, the reason that the house is the size that it is is not because that was our goal, but we took 40 feet off of the mountain to make the lot, the lot bigger. So then we had to create usable space to make the grass above you have grass. So that's why all of the rooms that you're in now have usable space above you. And that's why it was so hard, but that's why it became that square footage. But you can see, I mean, when we go through the lower levels of this house, you will understand that you need to have this kind of space to have a proper nightclub, to have a proper theater. Now the proper space is because the house in itself is only 35,000 square feet, which is big. Only. But comparatively to 105. But then when you take the lower level and the garage, it's 50,000, you know, for the lower level. And I built a lot of houses that a lot of people complain. They said, there's not enough garage. There's not enough staff. There's not. I gave them everything here. Like we have a 50 car garage. I have an You've never eight, seen one of those. I have an 8,800 square foot staff quarters with seven bedrooms and a living room and like with views for the staff. I mean, like th we have everything that anybody could ever want in this house. So this is the dance floor. This is the DJ booth. This is the lounge. To the right of the lounge is the VIP. So VIP, his and her bath. TV's going in here. Yeah, TV's to watch who's in the nightclub if you want to pick up somebody. I try to do everything to turn everything around. Like I know, and unfortunately in LA, I know a lot of the dudes are scumbags here and I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna turn all the dudes into good people. How so are you gonna do that? One of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them on their feet. So check out what I did here. So this is a his and her bath, right? This is the community bath. So this is the her side. This is the toilets and this is the sinks. And see these, these uh, plates right here? That's for a monitor, right? And then if you come into the his side. <laughs> Can you believe these this? Are no. the, these are the urinals. And I'm gonna have cameras here looking at the guys. You're gonna have cameras? Cameras looking at the guys putting the image in the girl's bathroom. Out of the box thinking. That's a normal thing like a, a guy would do. Now I'm thinking like the girl, getting them back for a minute, you know? <laughs> Mate, we're in a nightclub, in a house. But this is a real nightclub with a like, yeah. 80 foot screen on the wall yeah. there. So what's the capacity for this? I don't know. I know that we are getting permits for 900 people safely, COVID, guidelines safely tables six feet across throughout the whole house so it's it's big wow you know? unbelievable because i mean when this is packed full of people you're talking about oh easily a couple thousand people oh, oh yeah for sure in the non-covid times yeah, yeah. of course yeah, yeah. thousands oh, can you imagine this at night the view could you party? imagine this at night with me living here yeah is that the plan and you visiting I, I'm there. Oh, wait, hold on, boys. Wait, you Just guys, you will find well. out the plan later. We're not going to, we're not saying anything more. Okay. You know what? Not only this will be the first, but if we do this tour nonstop, it will also be the first. Right. Like we've never done this all, all the way through at one time. Well, you need to change your shoes. You wear your, your <laughs> sole of your shoes out. <laughs> Wednesday, I did almost 16,000 steps. Around the house? Yeah, so we gotta do more today. <laughs> I, I thought we've already done more than that. <laughs> oh no, we've done 5,000 so far. Everything is so beautifully done. It's not just big, it's done with sophistication, with class, Thank you. quality. I mean, look at the planks, everything is precision. It, it's just amazing. You didn't even notice, did you? Uh, I still have to go. I, you know what I do notice? 
all the things that are still wrong with the house I gotta fix. That's what I know. <laughs> That's punch, what I know. punch list. <laughs> yeah, I can have a big punch list here, but it's we're not done yet, so we will be. Another four weeks probably. Behind the, this area here, well we didn't show you here. I don't usually go this whole thing, but we'll go over here. You even know what this is. Oh, this goes into the house and then he over was <laughs> lost. He was lost. Yeah. He had no idea where it went. But over here, <laughs> they, we, this is the his and her bathroom for the pool. Oh, cool. Where so are I, you? There's two showers here. You didn't even know they were there. They were, but I forgot. Two showers <laughs> and two bathrooms here. Which is not really nice for the pool because you can take a shower and get ready in your own bathroom right off the, the pool. The pool is yeah. gorgeous. Thank you. All the doors are electric, so you push a button, they all open. So you don't have to push them manually. So do you know what, Niall? We've done a lot of house tours and I've walked around a lot of these places. And Michael, you can attest to this. Some of the big modern houses, yeah. you don't feel like you could ever live there. Yeah. They, they just don't feel livable. Uh, yeah, That's cold. a good point. Yeah. As crazy as this is so far, and I know we've only seen a tiny yeah. bit, it feels so livable. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it will be livable. And you know what? Once I put in like the long rugs that are comfortable, it will be, uh, hopefully I'll be Do you know the here. other good yeah. thing about this house? is you could really have a long lasting relationship in this house because <laughs> it could be three years before you see your partner. Right? Long, long distance you, relationship. You, no, no, long distance. <laughs> you could have guests in the house and your partner would never know they were there. <laughs> There's so many things about this house that are unique. You know, like this house has a full north south tennis court that you don't even see. Like you don't even Where? get that. I'll Where? show you, I'll show you when we get there. <laughs> tennis court. <laughs> okay, so let's go upstairs now. We have many methods of going upstairs. Let's go this way. I'm going to reverse the tour. Where does this go? You'll see. Don't go there. It's off limits. <laughs> it's like a staircase in a, in a museum. See, it's turning now. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay, we're back towards the office now. And I don't usually go this way, but I will. Oh, look at this powder room. This is really cool. We did it with inset mirrors. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's go up. This is also very difficult, these free flowing stairs that How are basically in the air. How many staircases are there in the house, do you know? Um, there's, I think, three, like six, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> there's three main ones. This is one of the main. The view from the staircase. I know. Oh, well wait, you see the view from up here. So first of all, we come up here and this is the first thing you see framed directly in the middle of your eyeline is the Getty. Wow, truly. Here, come this way. Spectacular. This is the balcony for the library. Sick, sick. Hey guys, how are you down there? <laughs> sick, this is really high up. Yeah. He ain't scared? No, woozy. And what, what's cool is every place where we have more than one bedroom we have a living room so you have a central space to hang off of your room so this is the first living room i'll show you what the so these walls are suede what are these walls suede made? suede That's... suede wallpaper so this is a wing of four bedrooms here Look at the staircase going up can we pop in just no, have a quick... yeah yeah come to this one i'm showing you the best trust oh, me okay these are the best too because it'll just give you an idea <laughs> Adam, it's overwhelming. It is. It's, it's truly overwhelming. It, it is. Wow. Spectacular, Niall. You must be so proud of yourself for achieving this. You know what? I will be proud as soon as all this happens. But look at the bathroom. I did them all the same, all the secondaries. Secondary. Gorgeous. And key, you guys should go out and look at the grounds because we haven't talked about anything yet. But when we do, I want you to imagine that these two rooms look right down into the grounds. So just not to give anything away. I'm yes, not yet. But, but just, just tell the guys watching about there's some plans for this house. Yeah, Don't give yeah. anything away. You'll hear about the big, big world changing plans of this house. So keep in mind where these two bedrooms are are where the big plans are gonna be happening right there on the grass. So could you imagine, as we talked before, you get both of these rooms and where that grass is, is where the big stuff is happening. This is like a full size football. I mean, it's the kind room. of space, isn't it? Where you could put a boxing ring 
or you could put a stage for a performer or you I mean put, you can do you can anything, anything you, you want. have some of the biggest concerts in the world that held out Absolutely here. Absolutely. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be have a anything idea? You want. That would be a wonderful idea. Where did you hear that from? <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, so now we're going to go up to the sky deck. The sky deck is another going to be a very special area for remember for later. This is not the main entrance here. And we're ignoring a bunch of bedrooms as we go, right? Yeah, it's just <laughs> you want to go, they're going to get boring, you know? Just, I'll just have a quick peek in. Just bedrooms that are gorgeous and the bathroom's spectacular. Yeah. Have a quick peek. <laughs> okay, come up here. So this is the secondary entrance. Look at the sink. Oh, oh and oh. the welcoming toilet. So okay. this is the secondary entrance to the sky deck. The, the main elevator is what you will use. You won't use this usually, but the sky deck is insane. I originally changed this all. This is where the air conditioning units were going. And we had to spend millions to get one air conditioning unit instead of many to create this and then re structurally make it stronger. But here we have a putting green. <laughs> but of course, what would it be without a putting green? Why wouldn't you have one? Overlooking the whole of LA. This is my type of And grass. today it's very hazy. It's usually never like this, you know? You literally see everything. There's the reservoir over there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Adam. Adam. We haven't seen the big bedrooms yet. This is the bar. This is the city area, fire pit. This is the main elevator here. This is the fire pit, right? Yep. And guys, there's still some finishing touches, like the stones that would go in there or whatever would go in there. Mm. We're a month away. So what I'm going to do here, which is going to be I really feel like cool. I the sky bar or, or the top of the wall door. Well, this, this, is a, this is the sky deck, but you know what I'm going to do fitting with the sky deck? I tried forever to get a helicopter pad here approved and they wouldn't. But what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to get a gigantic helicopter with no motor I'm going to gut the inside and I'm going to make it the coolest vibe space you could ever have in your life with shag carpet, with <laughs> televisions that go around, with like, this is going to be my helicopter sleeping pad. <laughs> Amazing. Austin Powers. Yeah, but way better. <laughs> this is beyond a party house. This is a, an experience. I, I mean, I've traveled the world. There's very few countries I haven't been to. I thought up until today I'd seen it all in various different formats. I was wrong. This is like something I have never seen before. I, I'm so thrilled you let us be the exclusive release to the world of, of this property. And, and whatever you're doing here, I want to be part of it. Because oh, and you will be. And you know what? This Imagine this. Like you could never think of anybody that has a YouTube channel would have more impressions than a network. Like, that's true. Like, so I'm trying to mix it up in ways that no one has ever thought to do. And I have everybody coming to me. Like, everybody wants to be here. Everybody, I can believe imagine. me. So. I can imagine. And we're flattered, honored, humbled you. that you've allowed us here with cameras because this is just incredible. Michael, please give me a sign off right now so that we can skip to part two of this video because this is obviously a big house tour. So we want to break this up into manageable parts. So we are now going to take refreshments because I think we've walked probably 15,000 feet. How many feet have we walked? I mean, steps. Around there, yeah, 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 probably. Some crazy amount. And we're going to say goodbye to you now. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, tune in tomorrow because it'll be tomo tomorrow, Adam, right? Correct, Meaning yep. the day after this one. And uh, you'll see the extension of this amazing, amazing house tour. The best house tour ever done in the world. We'll see you then, see ya.